Hey guys, it's Sonya Miller and welcome back to my daily vlog called Living the Creative Life. Today is a special vlog. It's going to be what we call Junk Monkey Rewind. Short and sweet, just the way that you guys tell us you like it. So today I pulled out from the vault the archives of hundreds of paint tutorials that I've done for you guys in our social media platform of well over 100,000 followers, fans banana bunch all you guys out there that we love there are just certain paint finishes that get more love than others the ones that are more requested the ones that people just fall in love with you guys know those so today's video is gonna be one of those I'm pulling it out from the archives if you watched it live on Facebook you will remember that it went for way over like an hour I think maybe an hour and a half today what I've done is I've edited down this video to be a bite-sized tutorial for you and then go to town on your furniture now if you've been following me for a while you know that sunflowers always make their way into my art like right here these are some of my recent paintings beautiful right yeah I love them too and trust me they're hard to sell once they're done but I think there is always a place for sunflowers maybe you are in love with sunflowers as much as me when I had my very first apartment I decorated with sunflowers I had a sunflower wreath I had a sunflower table runner I had a balance uh, with sunflowers across my kitchen window I love me some sunflowers how could you not because they are truly fun colorful happy flowers so here's a fun happy video for you guys I'll join you again at the end let's watch together the color I'm going to use today is, you want to show them over here, it's called red ochre. It's like a barn red basically, right? I've got a layer of the dark red down, the red ochre, and I put the yellow dory on top of it. I'm going to complete the other side. Like I say, I kind of got a head start on it so that way I could give this table, this end time to dry so we can see some chippy action because I am down for some chippy action. So anyway, let's let this dry. It's already starting to flake off and do amazing things. Whoa! Did you see that? Amazing, right? So let's do some here. Literally, I'm just taking my sand pad and I'm brushing it over. And do you see all that darling chippiness that we're getting right there? So I think I let that set up pretty well. Again, we're having fun with milk paint and you mix it from the powder form and uh, add some water and then you have fun with it. So this red ochre has dried. So let's go ahead and go to town. I'm gonna use my shabby chip brush. They're also available in my shop. So I'm really applying the, the yellow on top of it. it kind of looks like Venus. Does it? <laughs> do you like it? It looks like Venus or an Easter egg or could be, could be Saturn. It just needs a storm at the bottom. Oh my gosh. Can you see some chipping already starting to happen right here? And I'm just rubbing my fingers over it, okay? That does not happen with chalky style paint, right? It holds on. This is just my fingers going over it right now. This is a chippy cam right here. Can you see it? I'm drying it right now. I'm going to swipe it over with my hands. You see that? So this is the chippy paint right here. So the cool thing about chippy paint is you just don't know what it's going to do. So if you love the imitation of the old furniture, you're going to love this paint. Now I'm just going to have some fun. These are just some cheap paints that I have. They are the 50 cent paints that you can get at Walmart. I would never paint furniture with 50 cent paints, but when we've got our layer of our junk monkey paint down, we can use this on top of it to just basically embellish it, right? like the same kind of color that's in the center in the leaves and I'm not afraid to go in and just kind of smush it in all right it's smush a word so now what we're gonna do is just make it a little bit bolder all right and I just free flow it for when I do this sort of stuff because again I'm not going for perfect I am going for more of a just a imperfectly perfect just bold kind of look right but here's how I'm gonna get the sunflower seed you guys ready you use the other side of your brush right these are the perfect size right to be able to give some dots so I just use the other side of my brush and I'm gonna start putting a few dots down all I did was put some water in the plate with some black and, and Matt's toothbrush okay. all right let me see as you can see right you know we've been married too long because she no longer cares about my oral health <laughs> The center of my sunflower needs a little bit of speckles because we've got all the sunflowers around or the seeds around the end but you guys know that it needs a little stuff in the middle right so we're just gonna put a little bit of this in all right let's see here let's go ahead and give a little bit over over our sunflower seeds There's a crackle. 
There we go. We're good with that. Let's get some around the edges. Remember, she's got chippiness and redness on the bottom right there. It sounds like a, she's got an ailment. She's got chippiness and redness on her bottom. But uh, <laughs> She's going to die. <laughs> any doctors in the house? So we're using the wax brush in connection with our Monkey Shine All Natural Non-Toxic Wax, okay? You put your brush in. You swirl it around. It's just like you're doing the, you know, the hokey pokey, right? Mm. And then what you do, guys, do you see how this is going to come to life? It makes that, that wood just really start to, like, the hungry, thirsty wood start to pop. So what happens is once you put on the wax and um, you buff it in in that circular motion, so you really push it down, then you just can't let it sit there, okay? You're going to have to do something to really buff it and get rid of the excess of wax that might be sitting on the top of it that's not quite down in the wood pour. And we did a beautiful sunflower on a big old awesome old table, right? And totally flipped it. So are you ready to go and do that finish on a piece of furniture too? Do you have a piece of furniture that that sunflower look would look most beautiful on? Did you learn a little bit about creating chippy looks with our beautiful all natural milk paint? I can't wait to see what you do. Be sure to join our free sharing group on Facebook called Junk Monkey Paint Projects. Please, by all means, post photos of what you've created lately with Junk Monkey Paint so we can all share in the joy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a big thumbs up, and leave me a comment below. What's your favorite flower? Is it sunflowers? Could you live with sunflowers? Have you painted sunflowers before? Like, let me know all the things. All right, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.